everybody, this is Vincent Grosso and welcome back to another episode of my channel. And today, we're going to be shaving. I'm going to show you how I, as a visually impaired individual, do shaving completely by feel. Let's do this now. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I wanted to show you how I shave as a visually impaired individual. I've gotten asked on three separate occasions by separate people asking me how do I shave my beard and get it the way it looks. Well, I figured instead of just telling everybody, I might as well show you. So, since my visual impairment, I have not been able to see faces and that means that includes my own face. So I don't look in the mirror. I don't, you know, even bother. Half the time I'll just shave in the shower. But I just wanted to show you the process of how I do it. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. In order to get the straight lines underneath my chin, I use my fingers. So my index fingers, my pointer fingers. So um, all I do is I get my finger right where I would want the line to start. So, and then I just move my hand slowly across the underneath of my chin. And I just feel afterwards to see if it feels even. Now, I purposely have not shaved for like three days just so I can make this video for you guys. So, don't mind the gristle. So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna start right now. Time to lather up. So, so I'm not worried about underneath hitting and going too high up because what I do is I don't shave and trim my beard. I let it actually grow long. And the reason I do that is I allow it to grow long so that when I do shave, the blade, when my hand goes up, it feels the beard and it won't shave. I, can, I know exactly when to stop the razor blade from moving up towards my chin. Here we go. As you notice, I'm going upward and I'm going pretty fast because I've done it a long time, so maybe I should slow down. But like I said, I can feel the razor hitting my hairline where it's thicker under my chin. So now here comes the tricky part. Now I want to have a nice even line from points uh, from one side to the other. So what I do is I find the points where my jawbone, the corner of my bottom of my jaw bones, and I put my finger on that, and then I put my finger across where I would want the blade. Where that where I'd want the line to be. And then I just move across to the other side. Now I'm touching the other point of my jaw. And I'll do it again. It's really easy. And you know what is crazy is I've done this since the start. Since the start and have not had any problems having an uneven line, to my knowledge. I mean, unless my wife's lying to me every day, which I hope she isn't, she tells me it's pretty even. So there you go. Now I'm just gonna get the rest of the hair that I missed, go in all directions, so there's no stubble, feel for the stubble. I don't like stubble. So there we go. Now, the harder parts. So the chick, the cheekbones, where my cheekbones are, and my lips. So we'll start at the lips. So what I do is I have that little hair between the bottom of my lip going down to my chin. So I just take my index finger and I put it in between my lips. And what I do is I just go till the 
top of the razor blade hits the side of my finger. And that lets me know that I'm not going to take too much off. There you go on the other side. Now, when it comes to how much you pull from side to side, I mean, you're going to have to do that on judgment, but it's easy for me because, believe it or not, the bottom of your lip is actually round. So, I know once it starts to go to the, to the contour of your face or your lower jaw, I just, I stop going. I just, I never hit the sides. I never had a problem. And that's done. Now the hardest part of it all, the cheekbones. So let's do the cheekbones now. This is how I do it, okay? I take my index finger and I put it on my sideburn, right to the edge of where my hair stops. And then I take the razor and I have it facing handle down and I put it against the side of my finger and on the top of my cheekbone. And what that does is it allows me to go down, but as soon as I start going down, I make a J motion. So that's what I do. So I just put it there, I go down, and then I instantly start turning the razor, and I go one up in the center, and that's it. And I can do it twice and not have to worry. And then I just feel the edge to see if I've made it to where the hair is longer because I can feel the stubble from the last time and if it isn't, I just push it in a little bit more. But I did it. I got right on the money the first time. Same thing on the other side. My index finger to the edge of my hair, put my razor down at the top of my cheek cheekbone and I go down and turn and I do it again. And then one up the center to get the hair off the cheekbone and I feel and BAM! And then what else I do is I just feel with both my thumb and my index finger on one hand and I feel if they're even or just my index finger on both hands. And if they feel even to me by feel, I feel I'm good. And that's how I shave my face. Now, the last and final step. Coming right back to you. Alright, now that I have shaved my face, you know, my skin or whatever, got all, got my neck where I want it, got my cheekbones where I want it, got my lip where I want it. What I do next is I trim my beard. So I trim it down and I use electric buzzers to do so. And I always, my wife always makes sure that she puts the right one on here because I can't read these at all, but they are um, actually the numbers protruded so I can feel the two. But I have a hard time, you know, distinguishing the two from the other ones and stuff because sometimes they feel like a three, but but for the most part I can always tell it's a two. So plus I just know how the size and feel of the the piece that goes to the top of the razor blade. So what I do now is the final step. I just shave my face. So that's it guys. I'm not gonna make you watch me shave my entire beard. I showed you how I shaved and made the lines even, as you can tell, if you can see, and if you can't, I'm just letting you know, I feel it is straight enough. So that's how I shave. So if you're ever wondering, watching my videos, now you know. So I'll see you guys later. Now I gotta do the most painful part. Well everybody, I hope you liked this episode. I know it's a little off track, but it was a question that was asked to me and I was thinking in my mind, well, it's true, like, how, if you can't see, if you're blind or if you're visually impaired, how can you keep a straight line in your face? I wondered the same thing when I started going visually impaired. I'm like, how am I going to shave my face? How am I going to cut my fingernails? How am I going to, how am I going to groom myself? And that is a big issue, you know, and I am one that likes to stay kind of as clean cut as I can, so, you know, I, I just figured it out. So I, I improvised and I found something that works for me. And it's just to show you in this episode that you could find something that works for you. So if you had just became re uh, recently visually impaired or blind, don't think you need to give up on yourself 
and like your looks and all that stuff. And, and it will make you feel better. You'll have more confidence and you won't be as depressed maybe, you know? So I know at least for me, it helps me. So if you like this video, please subscribe, ring that notification bell. Please, please leave a comment down below and let me know how you shave and if you have any tricks, if you have a beard that is. Or even if you don't, let me know how you do it. If there's any, you know, obstacles you come across that are hard for you, I'd like to know about it. So I love hearing the comments and I love replying to them. All right, guys, until next week, I'll see you again. This is Vincent Grosso, My Vision Impaired Life. Love you all. See you next week.